the branches were uh, mechanical and I am interested in engineering and management. And the procedure was firstly uh, the candidates was shortlisted on the basis of their CGPA. The CGPA was minimum eight. You have to have eight, eight CGPA in the college, and it, it was basically a joint campus between and uh, the uh, colleges were NIT Kurukshetra, NIT Jalandhar, and NIT Hamirpur. We have to go to NIT Jalandhar for the uh, joint campus interview. And the, uh, initially the uh, procedure was uh, we have an online test, they have a data server, we have uh, one and a half hour test, it was 60 aptitude questions, two technical uh, slots, one was of 25 questions and one of 35 questions, so we have 120 questions in one, one and a half hours. And the uh, technical uh, questions were basically from uh, all the subjects, but we have uh, isometric projections, fluid mechanics, RH, uh, refrigeration and air conditioning, heat transfer. All subjects were covered in the technical. The aptitude was basic, but it was calculative. You have to have to be very fast to get the 60 questions. I was not able to complete 60. I was able to about uh, 50 questions at most 50 questions. And after that, uh, we have 22. Uh, we have 19 students that went from uh, here. So after that, uh, technical paper. Only nine students were cleared from. All were from mechanical engineering. No students were shortlisted from industrial engineering. And we have uh, the NIT Hamirpur students have their interview first, then our college, and then NIT Jalandhar. Seven students from NIT Hamirpur got uh, shortlisted, and eleven from NIT Jalandhar. After I was the first one to get interview. The procedure was basic. There was only one question from your uh, HR. Tell me about yourself was the question, and that they asked in brief. They uh, clearly told us that it would be in brief so I told my name, my hobbies and I have done my training in Ashok Leland so I emphasize that I have done my training in Ashok Leland so they asked about that because I know if I would tell them and that they would be more concerned about knowing what I have done in my training so more, more, of, more of my questions were about my training what I have done in my training what I would like about uh, Ashok Leland what uh, improvements I would like to introduce in that plant in Alva plant, I am basically from Alva, so in uh, Ashwagandha has a plant in Alva. So I told about that, and the and basically what the, what are the improvements that I would like to introduce in the plant, and that um, mainly it was a technical interview. The questions were uh, what are differential, how a differential works, how ABS. My first question was how an ABS works, and and ABS works, and I told that uh, I am not. Uh, uh, I don't have a proper knowledge about ABS, but I know how it works. So I told them about ABS. ABS. Then it, how differential works. I know there were two. It was used for two purposes. One to uh, change the speed of outer wheels and inner wheels, and uh, and to make uh, uh, yeah, it was basically used for to make change the speeds. So I told about them. And, and the, all the questions were from automobile sections. They don't ask about any other questions from any other subjects. All the questions were from automobile subjects, and uh, after that, uh, they, in the last, they asked me about a uh, puzzle. Uh, that it, they gave me two uh, two triangles, uh, star-like two triangles, and they asked me about uh, what are the total, uh, what is the sum of total angles, and that's all. Uh, my technical interview starts with the HR question, and the HR question was, uh, tell me about yourself in brief. Then I tell my hobby, my name, my father's name, my parents' name, and uh, I am, since I done my training in since I done my training in Ashok Leland, so I emphasize that I done my training in Ashok Leland in my second year. So they asked me, so they asked more about my training. Their first question was, what do you like about Ashok Leland in that during your training? So I tell them the plant was very good. The people were very, uh, the people working there were very friendly, very supportive. And then they ask what would, what would you suggest about improvements in that plant. So I tell them that uh, the assembly line was a uh, manual assembly line. So it must be a automated, automated. Because if you have to uh, have more number of uh, uh, trucks outgoing, you have to be automated. So they tell me any other improvements. So I know the, uh, the only improvement that I would suggest is only the automation of the system. So they asked me, okay, then the technical, technical interview starts. My first question was about ABS, do you know about ABS, how it works? So I tell me that I don't know about uh, more, much about ABS, but I know how it works. So I tell them about where that it, it is a gradual engagement of work uh, uh, brakes. And it is more effective than a simple brake or a disc brake or a drum brake. So my second question was about differential, how a differential works. 
and then uh, question was about gearbox, how gearbox or how it uh, engaged with the clutch and other. And my other questions were, um, how, what, are, what is the material used in the cylinder? So I tell them about the aluminium, which um, uh, majorly uh, aluminium is used for making cylinders because it is a very good, it has high uh, tensile strength, heat strength, it is a good uh, heat transfer uh, coefficient. So basically aluminium is used for making cylinders. What, uh, since my training was basically on Chichis assembly, so they asked me about what are the different, uh, uh, what are the different parts in Chichis assembly. So I uh, tell them that uh, initially there were uh, two parallel, uh, parallel uh, guards that were assembled and then we have uh, other, other supportive uh, elements that are connected to, the, uh, connected to the two guards. Then we have uh, tail lights, headlights, they were assembled and uh, the, brake, uh, the uh, engine uh, hose, the hoses were also attached to it, the silencer was attached to it, Th then comes the engine assembly. That since the engine comes from uh, directly, directly come from Chennai plant, so it was that uh, it was already assembled. So they just plant uh, uh, plant it on the engine 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 mounting. It, it was engine mounting, and after that tire mounting, uh, seat mounting, and uh, after that uh, they check about uh, the engine oil, brake oil, and gear oil. They fill fill the various uh, boxes with these oils, and after it it was a last check for. Um, it was last checked for uh, any leakage or any problem and then it is out, um, out, out from the plant. So and the, my last question was a puzzle and it was about, uh, two, about two triangles that are formed in, a, uh, in shape of a star and they asked me about what is the sum of the, all the angles. So I, uh, I tell them that it's 360 and they tell me okay. You can, uh, I would I would suggest that uh, for cracking the aptitude paper you have to be very fast, very calculative. Your math should be very good. Your technical should be very basic. You have, your basic should be very clear for cracking the technical part. For interview I would suggest uh, you must be very basic about auto. You have basic knowledge about automobile engineering that would uh, help a lot. And uh, they ask about your favorite subject, but their focus is mainly on automobile engineering because they. They are an automobile company, so their focus is about automobile company, and th that will uh, they will ask about your automobile questions. And if you don't know, then they won't take you, and they, they won't, you won't get selected in that. And uh, uh, and others, uh, if you have training in automobile sector, any company in automobile sector, you should tell them about that because they will ask about your training. And so, majority, most of your t uh, interview would go on that training, and that would help you a lot because you know about your project work and that.